Welcome to the Moves SLC maintenance training video. This video was made to support periodic maintenance activities outlined in the Moves SLC Operator's Manual and the Moves SLC Service Manual. System Cleaning The external body of Moves SLC can be cleaned after each use and during routine maintenance using standard cleaning agents such as isopropyl alcohol or diluted chlorine compounds. Oxidizing agents should not be used for cleaning. To clean the device, simply wipe down the external surfaces. Cables, non-invasive blood pressure cuffs, and tubing can be cleaned with disinfecting spray. System Maintenance Regular maintenance should be carried out on the MOVES SLC system by authorized and qualified service personnel. If the MOVES SLC system is subjected to extremely rough handling, environmental stress, or has been damaged, it should be referred to authorized and qualified service personnel for inspection and repair if necessary. Periodic Maintenance Procedures Begin quarterly preventative maintenance by completing a system diagnostic. This can be done without the use of consumables for the purpose of maintenance only. Connect Moves SLC to wall power using the power supply. Install both batteries into the battery bays of the device. Turn Moves SLC on by pressing the power button at the rear of the device. If prompted to configure the system for a new patient, select Yes. The system test screen is displayed. Some tests are automatic and do not require any user input. Others require some feedback or preparation and will state input or prep required. Use the jog wheel to navigate through the tests and select the various options. The first test, ventilator cartridge check test, requires user input. For the purposes of this procedure, a ventilator cartridge is not required. Select yes to continue. To complete the closed Y-piece test, simply ensure that the ventilator port covers are installed, then select prep done. To initiate the alarm lights plus audio tests, select start, then observe the device in order to answer yes or no to the displayed questions. To complete the open Y-piece test, ensure that the ventilator port covers are open, then select prep done. The sample line test is comprised of two tests. To complete the detect occluded line test, occlude the gas sample port on the patient connections panel at the front of the device with your finger until the test is completed. To complete the verify clear line test, Remove your finger from the gas sample port and leave it open. If all tests are successful, a test summary is displayed, indicating that all tests have passed. Exercising the oxygen concentrator. The oxygen concentrator must be exercised every three months to ensure that the ATF module does not degrade. Open the O2 outlet port on the top left of Moves SLC, near the front of the device. On the setup screen, navigate to the system mode area and set the mode to O2 supplement. Select yes to start the system running in O2 supplement mode. Note that when Moves SLC is running in O2 supplement mode with no sample line to measure oxygen output, two alarms will be active, low inspired O2 and sample line disconnect. This is normal and does not indicate a failure. Allow the system to run in O2 supplement mode for at least two hours. While the device is still running, connect the O2 outlet sampling adapter to the O2 outlet. Connect the attached tube to the gas sample port on the patient connections panel. Navigate to the main screen and ensure that the output concentration reaches a minimum of 88% in O2 supplement mode. Otherwise, the ATF module may require replacing. Battery charging. If the system is not in use, Moves SLC's batteries should be charged at least every six months. If not already installed, remove the batteries from the accessory case and install them in the device. If not already connected, uncap the power port and plug the power supply into the device then connect the power supply to AC power. Allow the batteries to charge fully. 
Remove each battery from the device and press the status buttons to verify that all five LEDs are lit. If the batteries are not charged periodically and are identified as having no LEDs illuminate when the status button is pressed, they may require up to 72 hours to charge fully or become inoperable.